Hey folks, surprise, I am doing a video showcasing my face, which I never really do, but just wanted to do an intro for you guys. Um, I was going to make a video on how simple it is to do a DLSS. Um, from my previous videos, I showcased you had to copy a bunch of files, but Crossovers just released their new beta preview, which basically sets up everything for you to do DLSS. All you have to do is download it. And then two days ago, the new beta 2 from Gameport Toolkit came out. So that's what this video is going to cover, what's new, um, very short video, just what's new, what's still broken, and kind of the state of Mac gaming using the best software in my opinion, which is Crossovers. So let's take a look. So as I was showcasing before, in my previous videos, I made, like you can see here, uh, almost two minutes of explaining how to get NVIDIA DLSS up and running, which involved copying the files from Apple's Gameport Toolkit. But if we check out the GOAT, he also just released a video where he almost takes 10 minutes in more detail, more depth, of course, explaining how to do it, showcasing all the things you have to do. Um, but the long and the short is that if you have crossovers, all you have to do is just download crossover previews. And they, you see here, there's the DLS toggle. Um, so all you have to do is just download it if you want that working. Now that uses Gameport Toolkit Beta 1, and they haven't updated it yet. The as you see here, July 10, which is two days ago at, in the time of recording, releases game port toolkit beta 2. So it's literally the same thing that you had to do from the last time, but I'm going to just showcase it here, um, just in case people forgot or you know you don't want to go to my other video to see it. On the right, I have a downloaded game port toolkit beta 2. On the left, I made a copy of the crossovers preview 625. Um, and I made the copy and then I changed it to be, you know, GPTK B3. So I know, you know, if I needed to go back to beta one, what I simply do is I just copy and paste, delete these two folders and then drag them in, copy and paste them. And then similar to what you had to do last time, you have to rename these. And all you have to do is really just, um, remove the on metal FX. So it'd be NV NGX dot SO, um, and then you go to crossovers, open the C drive. And when you go to system 32, there's also these two files that you have to delete uh, because crossovers preview has them originally and then copy them over. So yeah, Spider-Man 2, I've been seeing a lot of people on the Mac gaming subreddit asking like, when's this gonna get fixed? Honestly, I saw some people comment, I think the M1 Max is up to that even M3s, I believe. Uh, they don't, from what this person commented, they don't have the capability to do an instruction set to animate some things. And I think that this game uh, might never work. Um, GTA V Advanced still isn't working. Um, I was trying to test this to see if you could get DLSS in frame gen. You have to do the original version to play it. So really the bulk of this video um, is just, I think there's just minor improvements. Um, actually at the end I showed that Final Fantasy 16 works. Uh, but here in Cyberpunk, I get 65 uh, frames per second from the benchmark using DLSS quality auto and frame gen. One of my previous videos, I literally test all the frame gen settings. Um, so here I have a screenshot of when I was first testing it. If you can't read it on the right, it says 63 frames on the left, it says 65. Um, so I think just slight improvements there from the game port toolkit three beta two. And also one thing I was noticed, I was looking at all the settings actually here in my bottle, I'm not sure if crossover previews automatically does it or not. I'm technically running a Windows 11 selection on my bottle. Um, so that's something if you guys are looking for some performance to check out there. Now here we showcase Final Fantasy 16, boots up. Um, there's actually some settings before you actually get into the game. So I turned off V-Sync. You see that um, right there when it says scaling, that's the metal DLSS on metal. Um, so temporal scaling. Um, uh oh, my kid's making some noise, so it's time for me to wrap up this audio video. Um, here we show uh, kind of the intro, there's some graphics. I was unable to skip it, as you can see that I was trying to do. Um, but it runs about 50 frames per second. Um, and then later starts, you know, doing the in game cutscenes using the temporal and using the frame gen. Um, so it's about. Uh, you know, dips down. I actually thought it would run better because when it wasn't running, it was like 50. Uh, so you definitely need the DLSS 
to get this, in my opinion, on the M1 Max at least running better. And then when we actually get into the actual gameplay, still around, you know, 50 frames per second. Um, and really nothing really to change. I mean, all the settings were set on low. And you see, I think there's the DLSS artifact going on there where when things are appearing on screen, you're getting this fuzziness. Now, I've never played this game before. That could actually be what the game, kind of their stylistic choice. Um, but with that said, this is, at least the demo is working. I do want to leave a kind of comment. Well, there you can see the glitching out that I was talking about. That could be part of the game style choice. Um, when I did Stellar Blade, I tested a demo, and Don't then someone left a comment and said, hey, the actual purchase version, full version of the game wasn't working, or had some bugs, or like crashes out. So keep that in mind for people. The state of Mac gaming, everything's in flux, everything's getting updated, the compatibility. Obviously, if you get a Windows laptop, it will be the best compatibility. I don't want to like say, oh yeah, now it's working, but this is the demo. When someone buys a game, they get mad. So um, Just yeah, if, if anything, you always have fallbacks. I, I'm not, not sure if GeForce, uh, uh, the GeForce Now has this or not, but if you buy the game, maybe it'll get like better support later. So that's all folks. Thanks for watching. Take care.